All right, Ryan, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and I'm going to show you how I cut your second pair of prescription glasses that you have gotten from me. You got the Ray-Ban blue rubber before. Now we're going to turn these into your sunglasses. They are the color 789, the rarest of all the Ray-Ban colors. Most people don't even know this exists. So I'm going to take out the original demo lenses. I'm going to take your Italian frame, put it in my Italian Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger, and it is going to trace the left lens, and then it's going to pop over and trace the right lens here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. Now, this whole process takes about 20 minutes. It's 829 on Friday, March 14th, 57 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, at least according to my Samsung Gear watch. So it has traced the shape of your right lens. We'll pull the shape up on the computer, put in your pupillary distance that I got, and this is a polycarbonate lens and it's being cut for a plastic frame so let's get everything blocked up i am going to take your right lens that is the left this is the right so your prescription is plus a quarter minus two at 90. i'm going to put the axis wheel on 90. spin the power drum to plus a quarter put your lens in rotate it until the sphere power is coming clear i'm going to check the astigmatism correction raise this up just a little bit so we're in the center of the lens. Check everything again. We are perfect. Let me start cutting. I may have to darken these dots so you can see them later. I'm going to do that. That's why I have the light in the background so I can see those dots. That is the right lens. Let's do the same thing for the left, except the axis for the left is 80, and we're still plus a quarter minus 150. So I'm going to put this in, spin this around till I find the sphere power comes in perfectly clear. It does. We're at plus a quarter, minus 150. Get everything lined up just perfect, just perfect. Because with your astigmatism, there's no margin of error. So I'm put some dots on there again. Now we're going to get everything lined up. I'm going to put this block on here. This is what's going to hold it in place while it's cutting. I'm going to put a little double-sided 3M sticky pad. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick it against the block. Pull this off. Let's see. Yeah, we got room. We got room. Pull the side off. I'm always afraid of this little edge getting in the way. So I'm going to line up your optical center into the crosshairs of my scope. Do the same thing for the left lens. Put the little sticky pad on there. Pull away this side so it'll stick to the lens. And now we got everything lined up perfectly. So... Put your right lens in and hit start. The first thing that's going to happen, this is going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. You saw this in your first pair. You got the Ray-Ban 2132, size 52, color 811, which is the blue rubber. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the bottom, this lighter color wheel. It's like a very heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away your polycarbonate material. This wheel in the center is what's going to put the bevel onto the lens. It'll go down in that little groove and give you a knife-like edge that'll fit inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close the door in a moment, but for now I want you to see your prescription lens touch the cutting wheel. So, here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, you buy the frame and you get free single vision clear lenses. Now this is your second pair, and you actually wanted to upgrade to sunglasses, so you just paid my cost on the sunglass lenses. That's all you're paying for when it comes to your prescription. The, the darker lenses, because these are polycarbonate, and by the way, the polycarbonate is thinner and lighter weight, 40% thinner and lighter weight than regular plastic. The other nice feature about them is that they are un virtually unbreakable. They are bulletproof of the 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection. We all know what the sun's harmful rays can do to your skin, giving you a sunburn. So essentially this is like permanent sunscreen for your eyes. You will never have to worry about any exposure to the sun. Of course, Ryan, the guy is a wizard with a wrench, can fix anything Honda related. What we need is a gas-powered pair of sunglasses. Wouldn't that be cool? You start off clear, pull the little chain, fire up that T-stroke engine, and your lenses turn dark. So, now, because you have two pair of these, and this is the same frame that I'm wearing, 
I've got the tortoise beige on tonight. This is color 6012. But because you have unbreakable lenses and that's all I offer, I can pop my lenses out of my frame and put them right into yours, the color 789. As I was mentioning before, this, this is the rarest of all colors. This is the only color that Ray-Ban does not stock in their U.S. warehouses. They just feel like Americans wouldn't buy it. But it's the colors of my hometown baseball team, the Durham Bulls. Everyone else out there in YouTube land. There was a movie years ago with Kevin Cosner and Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon called Bull Durham. It was filmed here in my town about my hometown baseball team. So I have to wear these when I go to the games. Most people are shocked when they see this. They've never seen that color before. Even Ray-Ban enthusiasts because they've just never been in the U.S. I have to order these directly out of Italy. Of course, as all Ray-Bans, it says made in Italy on this side. And it is Ray-Ban 2132, size 52, color 789, which is the punchline to one of my favorite kids' jokes. Why is six afraid of seven? Because 789. So we're doing the little optical bath here. This is going to come out in just a moment. I appreciate you getting your second pair for me. These are banging. I know these are your Denver Broncos colors. The pharmacist next to me went to Auburn. He had to get a pair of these because that was his colors. New York Giants, Chicago Bears. I'm sure I'm missing out a few teams. But just email me what your favorite teams are and I'll see what colors I can get for you. I can put any prescription into any frame. If anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm talking myself silly. Alright, so I'm going to take this out, dry it off just a little bit. I'm going to take away these rough edges that are still on the edge of the lens by putting what's known as the safety bevel. I'm going to use my thumbnail to scrape away all this extra residue. And now we're ready to pop this into the frame. So, I'm going to dry off the last bit of that residue there. I start at the outside corner, I turn the frame towards me, I start at the outside corner with my thumbs, press down at the edges, and it snaps in perfectly. So now let's start cutting your left lens. Flip this over to left, and hit start. Now it's going to do the same procedure as it did before, it's going to come down and trace the shape of your frame. There's no way I can override this. If I could, I would, because it would save me a minute's time on every lens. So it's just making sure that the lens is large enough. If, if you had a smaller PD, it may not cut out, but I had these custom ordered, I measured. There ain't no way I'm not going to have the right size lens for this. I'm a licensed optician here in North Carolina, license number 1960. I'm going to cut about 30 pair a day. I know how to measure. I know how to cut. So once this gets started, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on your right lens. I'm going to do a visual inspection and then verify that the prescription is cut perfectly. And then explain your prescription to you. So this block is no longer needed now that it's done cutting. I'm going to pull that off, pull off that little sticker, toss that in the trash can, dry everything off. Of course, I've got the blue dot there. We're going to try and measure that a little bit later. But I'm going to put this back in here. Your prescription in the right eye is 90. The axis is. It reads plus a quarter minus two at 90. So I put this in and I'm getting a perfect sphere to power of plus a quarter. Rotate this away from me until minus two comes up and that gives me a combined power of minus 175. So your prescription, and I've got your phone number covered up so your fan club can't call you, but your prescription reads plus a quarter minus two at 90. Your left eye is plus a quarter minus 150 at 80. The way this works is you only need a little bit of magnification. Everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0.75, 1, and so on. You only need one step of magnification to see images as the correct size they really are. Most of your prescription is in the astigmatism correction. So again, with everything being quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, 1 and a quarter, 150, 175, 2, you need eight steps of correction to correct for your astigmatism. 
All astigmatism does is make everything blurry. This gets everything in the correct size. This takes away those fuzzy edges. So sixes and eights or the letters P and F don't look alike or those little tiny screws you have to work on and all the equipment that you do. This makes everything clear. This last number 90, essentially the astigmatism is the fine tune knob. This just tells us where to turn that knob to make everything perfectly clear. That's why your lens, if I were to pop it out, if you were to if your lens were completely round like a John Lennon pair of glasses and the eye wire screw came loose and your lens started to rotate, if you had no astigmatism, you'd still see perfectly clear. But because of your astigmatism, this lens has to be lined up just perfectly right here. Most people would be afraid of this prescription. It's a piece of cake. I cut my teeth on prescriptions like this. So your right eye was that. Your left eye reads plus a quarter minus 150 at 80. So again, one step of correction and magnification but only six steps of correction for the astigmatism. Your left eye is two steps better than your right eye. So lead with the left. Lead with the left. Next time any of my mowing equipment, chainsaws, weed eaters break down, you know who I'm calling. I'm gonna pull this little sticker off. Anyone else out there need someone to work on their Honda equipment? Email me, I'll get you the guy's contact info. So, let me dry this off so I don't drop your lens. What time are we working at here? 8.40, plenty of time. I'm gonna put the safety bevel onto your lens. Use my thumbnail to scrape away all the little optical sawdust there. Drop it on the counter. What happens next, kids? That's right, from the counter onto the floor. Because I love to repeat myself and say, kids, I went to school for years to learn how to wipe stuff on the floor. Don't expect for you to be able to do it at home as easy as I do. So I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner and using my thumbs, press down at the edges. Perfect. And because you have two pair of glasses, you have the blue rubber pair and now the blue orange pair, you can pop your lens out of here and put these in the blue rubber and vice versa. The, clean, the clear lenses you have in the blue rubber, you can pop into here. So now, essentially, you have two pair of clear lenses or two pair of sunglasses. Now, using those red dots, your pupillary distance is 62.5. And hopefully, if I hold this up to the light, when I put it on your right lens and then we read right here, we are getting, hopefully you can see that up in the light, 62.5. We are dead on. Let me spin the axis wheel to 80. I'm going to verify that this lens is cut correctly. Spin that plus a quarter. That is perfect. Spin the axis wheel. Minus 150. That is coming in perfect. I'm going to use my optical grade acetone to clean your lenses off, get those red dots off. And even though you're picking these up this weekend, I'm going to, in advance, go ahead and make these, put them in standard alignment, even though I'm probably going to have to tighten them up just a little bit, because that's what I had to do with the, with the color 811, the blue rubber. Let me just hold these up to the light and make sure there's no blemishes, and all the dots have been removed from the ink. They are. So again, I'm going to put this in standard alignment, meaning that I'm going to put it on the table. It's completely level. Flip it over, put it down, that is good. I'm going to close that, make sure each hinge lines up perfectly, and that it does, same amount of tension. Ryan, I really appreciate it. You got your glasses for me. You're helping me achieve my American dream. If I can be any more help, I'm only email away. If anyone else has any questions, email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. And this is just one of the many, many, many ways I can bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.